barka mu da war haka barka mu da kasancewa tare da ku a wani sabon shirin ciwacuwa sunana Hawwa Umar shirin ciwacuwa da shiri ne na barkwanci inda muke tattaunawa da his excellency MC Tagwaye akan al'amuran da suka shafi Nigeria da kuma abubuwan da za su kawo cigaban kasa kada ku manta wannan shiri dai ba a yi shi dan cin zarafin kowa ba face an yi shi ne domin ilmantarwa da kuma nishadantarwa a yau zamu tattauna akan wasu muhimman batutuwa musamman a zamu taba bangaren siyasa da kuma bangaren cin hanci da rashawa ganin cewa shine kashin bayan wannan gwamnati His Excellency barka da wannan lokaci Thank you Ya sabuwar shekara to ga mu cikin ta all of us ya ma kina ciya Ya Excellency wannan shigar fa wace shiga wannan shigar da kai inji ki ko Ya Excellency ai shigar ce ita ma ta next level ce ga ta nan da yuwa ba na aka ce in sanya ba aka kuma a to rabon da in dinki ya kaina ai an an jima a ba ya excellency ga yara ga jikoki ga abuka aziki a wani mushi su wani uba ga kuma mu yan najeriya ga kuma najeriyan kanta ma najeriya mai zata baka ta baka ka in ba a ta suka ka ba ka faban lalawari da sauran su abubuwan da muke samu da gare su kenan to ai ya excellency shugabanci ya gaji haka eh but is is quite difficult yana da yana da wayar al'amari mm to ya excellency a yau zamu taba bangaren siyasa musamman ma hukuncin kotun koli da ta yanke a jahar imu inda a dadan jam'iyyar PDP ne ya lashe zaben amma kuma bayan hukuncin kotun sai aka bawa kuma dan jam'iyyar APC to sai dai kuma wasu yan Najeriya na ganin kamar kotun bata yi adalci ba ya excellency me zaka ce game da haka akwai abubuwa da dama wanda a mutane ba su ganewa ke jarida ce you are doing your job so ba zan iya hidin wani abu wanda a zan gale hinki ko wani abu this is your job you are doing it wato magana gaskiya shine kin gani dai ba lawyer bane a bana aiki a kotu ban taba aiki a kotu ba and then aikin soja ne a a wannan bangaren ne zan iya ba da shawarwari da kuma abubuwan da na gane tunani akai but essentially speaking uh, an bani briefing mm. an zuwa dan bani bayani abubuwan da ke faruwa da sauran su su loyoyin fate su suka san komi kenan sai yi da sani saboda aikin su ne is a field uh, so uh, abu ne wanda su suka yanke hukunci su yan kotun kuli because uh, abu ne wanda su suka yi decide an kawo musu evidences ka musu abu wanda suka faru ga abu wanda suka faru but i think the major uh, challenge is that akwai kuri'un da ba a kara mushi ba shi dan takarin APC kanan aka nemi a fidda su ba a irga da su ba kenan a kirgen da ya gabata eh kirgen da ya gabata aka ce za a hidda su ba a sa su cike ba to kin ga amfanin kotu da ma an maka rishin adalci ai ka ga ce ka je ka fahimtar da su ka ga musu which is what actually happened uh, ni ma kai na da aka murshin adalci since 2003 uh, kotu ne dingizwa an ta kai ga uh, to the extent to the Allah is so Allah ci ikon shi in 2011 ya nuna kuma ya isa dan uh, 2015 raza mm. ya nuna ya isa so uh, when they, which is in order mutane dole su karbi outcome of the court saboda hukunci ne wanda gashi ga yanda yake 
kuma su wa'anda ke zaune a can sun san cewa lalle lalle ga abin da ya faru kotun can jaha ba ta nan kolu ba ta yanke hukunci ta ce shi wanda ke dan takarar PDP shi ya ci zabe ai shi dan takarar APC ya yadda da haka dan ko da aka yake hukunci haka aka zo nan kotun koli ta yanke hukunci ta ce shi dan APC shi ne gwamna shi ma dan PDP da ai dole yadda a to ai iya excellency ai rashin yadda ne yasa ya dauka kakarar har zuwa kotun koli alamar kenan kotun jihad kotun da karamar kotu da ta yanke hukunci bai yadda da hukuncin ba kenan shi yasa ya dauka kakara a a yo ai in ba kai da hukunci ba abin da ya kamata kai kenan ka dauka kakara ba kai fada ba ko kai zage zage abin da kake nema a yadda muka hakin ka a bi muka hakin ka that is why he came here abu da ya ga ba a yi mashi adalci can ba na yadda da abin da kuka yi amma ni ba a yi mun adalci ba so i have to get what another means kina tunani in ba cin wannan kotun kolin akwai wata wanda ke kololuwa shi dan pdp ba zai je ba ai sai ya kai ta kololuwa to but because it is there nan ya kare that is it to your excellency har yanzu dai a bangaren siyasa wasu na ganin kotun ta yanke hukuncin ne domin wato shirye-shiryen zaben 2023 wato saboda ita jam'iyar APC ta samu kuri'a daga bangaren kana ganin ba wata bakarkashiya da me kama da haka uh, well i think uh, akwai abubuwan da ya kamata mu lura da shi uh, in 2020 and uh, me in 2020 ya kamata mu lura ko mu fahimta cewa bai kamata a ci an fara magana siyasa yanzu is raza tu ali so magana wani ya ce saboda siyasa ce a da ai ba mu da wani abu wanda ya kamance wani cewa ana wuri kaza ko ana wuri kaza siyasa ce ko kana da gwamnati wurin ko baka da gwamnati wurin dole kai kaje kai kafin kaje ka ga mutane kudororin ka abubuwan da zaka yi musu da sauran su to kaje ka ce ka samu gwamnati a can dan saboda APC ta samu ƙura'a in 2023 to aka zo 2022 kai 2023 din shi dan takarar ya bar jam'iyya koma ta jam'iyya ya zaka yi shi halbe shi zaka yi ba yanda zaka yi shi saboda right din shi ne dama shi ce din jam'iyya da ga dama yayi shi wanda aka ba takara yanzu wanda aka kotu ta ce shine gwamna ai ba APC yake ba da da wai APC fi yake da ai kafin zabe ba kafin zabe that is what we are saying mm. ba akwai gwamnati ba da dama wanda sun bar APC din sun koma PDP kuma suka ci zabe so ba magana wai 2023 bane abu ne wanda akan tsari yake kuma inda za a bi kundin tsarin mulki to i am in support da an yi abu wanda ba akan gaskiya yake ba then i will i will speak out so magana wai dan a samu ƙura'a can ko kada a samu ƙura'a ba ta so ba it's not true so to your excellency ganin cewa kai mutun ne wanda idan ka ga an yi abin da bai dace ba za ka fito kai magana amma tun bayan zaben 2019 akwai abubuwa da dama a bangaren siyasa wanda har yanzu ana shiga kotu wannan ya dauka ka kara wannan ya ce ba a masa adalci ba shin a matsayin ka kai na shugaba wani kokari kake yi domin ganin cewa ka gyara bangaren siyasa nan ko da a ce baka nan bangaren siyasa ya gyaru ta yadda idan aka yi zabe wanda ya lashe zabe ya lashe zabe ba wani maganin zuwa kotu ko kuma rigingimin siyasa um siyasan ce baka iya kau da magana zuwa kotu ai ba zaka iya kau da ta ba 
kuma i think uh, last year you can read the data i made it clear she work i mbo ukus zai yi making sure akwai reforms wanda za a implementing a ita hukumar zabi wato kan ainek uh we do a lot of reforms wanda za su stabilize din uh the practice and exercise of democracy especially uh lokacin zabi uh na yi wannan magane kanan magana zuwa kotu ba ba za ka hana dan siyasa zuwa kotu eh amma dai your excellency abubuwan ne sun yi yawa yanzu idan maka duba za mu ga kusan jihohi da dama suna magana korafin cewa ba su yadda da ma wato sakamakon zaben ba wanda yake zabe an ko zaben ku ma ya excellency din ba shi na jami'ar atiko abubakar na jami'ar pdp ya nuna cewa ai bai yadda da zaben ba to rigingimin ne sun yawa a bangaren siyasa ya kamata a ce an yi wa bangaren wasu gyare gyare ita kanta hukumar zabe ya kamata a ce an shiga an yi wasu gyare gyaren da ya kamata idan mutane an fitar da sakamakon zabe eh kowa ya san lalle cewa an kamanta adalci um wani abin da zaki fahimta shine dan adam wani shu'unin mutum uh, wani ko ka mishi adalci mai yadda ba sai ya tada rigima yanzu ku tibi a ce a tiku a yi zabe a ce na ci zabe har ya kai ni kotu ina dalili ya ka ganin ba a masa adalci bane to ni bai san bayan da za a yi mai rishin adalci ba ba kali na bane shi ya zan mishi rishin adalci kai ne wanda ne mishi tsakani na da Allah da ka da shi ai babu wani dalilin ka kai ni kotu to amma da naje an ci ya je kotu sai ni ce to no problem yaje nasa aka kira shi ni ce kai hakuri wannan kai da ne maka tsakani na da Allah ne maka shi kai mu murna wannan kasa mai mata aiki a ci gaba ya ce bai yadda ba ce da tsuwa naka ce bai yadda muna muka rishe adalci abun ya dan so samun zuciya so but never less a uh, yanzu ya gane cewa lalle lalle kai da ne mushi a tsakani na da Allah ne mushi ba wai akwai wata mukusha ko wani abu kuma yayi kokari ya samu kurku fiye da miliyan 10 ba wakarin kokari yayi ba wa'annan kurku da ya samu bai taba samu su ba tun da yake tsaya takara ne mun shugabancin kasa in ba ce ni mai adalci ne ai ko kuri'a miliyan biyu ya samu to amma na ce a a ko bari mi wannan abu ko ko wannan a yi ta yanda ya kamata excellency ta yaya za ka ce in kai baka da adalci ba zai samu kuri'u ba a to ni rishin adalci na akai mini akwai lokacin da ta kai inda ta kai ma akwai wuraren da za a je a ce wai wanda kuri'a ko daya ya excellency da ma rashin adalcin ba daga bangaren yan takara bane rashin adalcin ana ganin daga bangaren ita kanta hukumar zabe ne to yanzu wani gyare gyare ake yi me ake yi shi shugaban hukumar zabe wani sauye sauye kuke yi da shi wani zama kuka yi wani shawarwari zaka bashi domin gyara ita kanta bangaren hukumar zaben na kace rashin adalci daga ita hukumar zabe ne i think you are not right Uh, because ai haka mutane suke gani saboda no, idan abin da mutane ke gani kika biye mu abin da mutane ke gani kasar na ai ba inda zamu su abin da suke kallo ai da bane that is what you will understand wannan abu ana yi da ya dangwale ka je kawai ka tsaya layi ka dangwala mm. an ta kai ga mutum da yana eh, zabe wurin so biyar a rana guda sai aka ce to a kawo na ura aka kawo na ura in baka da rajista katin zabe ba za kai zabe ba in kana da katin rajista na zabe za ta tantance ka 
to ta ina yi hukuma zabi ta abunga kuma gaban ka kuna da agent a wurin za a kilga in an kilga sai ya sa hannu na'am kai a wuce to in ba kana da problem to agent din ka shike da problem abin da yasa na ce hukumar mutane suna ganin hukumar zabi ita take ita ce batbata yin adalci saboda duk abin da za a ce ita za ta fito ta yi magana ai kamar yanzu hukuncin kotun koli ne idan ta fito ta yi magana ta ce an yanke hukunci wane shi ya lashe zabi to ba a ganin lefin wane ita kotu da ta yanke hukunci ita hukuma da take yanke hukunci ita ake dora wa lefi to lefi kuma ai dai Allah ya tsare mu an dinki dora wa ai ba dai na za a yi ba lehin da ake dora maka ku kamar san hawa baka san sabka ba ai Allah ya wadi shi that is what you should know ko kai daidai ko ba kai daidai ba in dai magana harka da adam to sai an ga lehin ka it is quite obvious masu kallon mu da fatan kuna jin dadin kasancewa tare da mu inda muke tattaunawa da his excellency mc tagwayi akan al'amuran da suka shafi kasa da kuma abubuwan da za su kawo ma ci gaban kasa to a daidai wannan lokaci zamu je hutar rabin lokaci idan mun dawo zamu dora daga inda muka tsaya inda zamu taba bangaren tsaro da kuma wasu muhimman batutuwa ku dakace mu kallon mu barka mu da dawowa har yanzu dai muna cikin shirin mu na bar kwanci na ciwa ciwa inda muke tattauna da his excellency mc tagwaye inda muka tabo bangaren siyasa a yanzu kuma za mu taba bangaren tsaro da kuma bangaren cin hanci da rashawa ganin cewa shine kashin bayan wannan gwamnati kuma har yanzu na san dai his excellency ana ta gogor mai akan yaki da cin hancin na muna dai dai bakin kokarin mu we try our best to kafin nan ya excellency da zu muna magana kace idan da bangaren tsaro ne kai ka fi kwarewa a wurin da za ka fi ba da shawarwari da kuma wasu abubuwan da suka kamata a yi amma har yanzu ya excellency tsaro a kasan nan ya kalubale ake fuskanta a ji wasu jihohi musamman ma jihohin arewa to ya excellency mene ne ake yi domin shawo kan irin wannan matsalar tsaro saboda mutun ya shiga kasuwa bai tsira ba ya je yana tafiya a titi bai tsira ba garkuwa da mutanen nan har yanzu ana yi ana neman kudin fansa mene ne jami'an tsaro suke yi domin ganin an shawo wannan kan matsala a Najeriya um, well muna uh, ya daidai bakin kokarin muga cewa shi magana tsaro ya zama abinda ba gwamnati kadai ba kowa da kowa ya kamata ya ba da contribution kin ga akwai abinda nake zan mutane su gani din da dai kowa kan so ya dora mu gwamnati lai Ya Excellency gwamnati ita take da haƙin tsare rayukan al'umma kasa ban ki ba ita gwamnatin wake da haƙin tsare rayukar ta a da ya haƙi yana kanta ta tsare rayuwar ta ima eh ta tsare rayuwar ta ta tsare rayuwar ɗan kasa to na yadda wata abin da ke faruwa shine a mutane ya kamata su lura kuma su gane in ba da hadin kansu ba maganar tsaro a Najeriya zai ci gaba da fuskantar matsala saboda abin da zaki lura da shi shine wa'anda ke wannan ta'asar su wane ne in Najeriya kauyukan nan da ake kai farmaki da sauran su ya'yan kauyukan ne ko ba ayyan kauyukan bane ayyan su da hadin kansu ake kawo wa'anda ke wannan ta'asa kamar yadda masu iya magana suka ce wai da dan gari ake cin gari so that is what is going on mm. manyan garin 
bincike ya nuna mu cewa yawancin su da hadin kansu ake mu mutane abin da ake musu to menene dalilin yin hakan ya excellency to samun duniya ba wani abu in ba samun duniya ba wanda mutum ba abin da ba zai iya yi ba to wani mataki kuma duk da tunda kun gano cewa da dan gari ake cin gari wasu garuruwan da ƴaƴan cikin garin ake hada baki a rikayin ta'addanci wani mataki kuke dauka a kansu matakin da muka dauka farko shine mu wayan mu mutane da kai sanar da ku cewa ga abin da gwamnati ke yi ga kuma abin da wa'anda kuke zauna da su suke yi saboda kin san yanayin da muke yanzu akwai hukumar kare hakin da adam human right akwai wasu decisions din da zaka yi dauka su taso maka wallafa ko ina cewa kana cin zarafin mutane kana kuma mulkin ka ba ka riya so abubuwan nan dole he ka zama very careful yanda zaka yi balance amma in ba cin haka ba abin da ya hana mu duk wanda aka kama halbishi muna yi taking that decision cewa duk wanda aka kama da hannun shi kila cikin magana sace mutane fashi da makami da sauran su lokacin soja ai halbe su muke we don't care ana kama ka cewa ka je ka yi sata an kama ka da bindiga ko ka je ka yi sata ko ka kashe wani a duro za mu dora ka a samu samu sojoji wa'anda ba su taba halbe bindiga ba sai practice da kai that is it so wannan saboda ban ga dalilin wanda zaka zauna a hada kai da kai ba a sace wani kudin da mutum bai da shi ya je ya nemo ya sai da gonar shi ya sai da gidan shi ya sai da motar shi ya horancen kudi ya dauka ya baka kai ka dauka ka je ka tashar holiyar ka to ai babu dalili to the ka je wani bangaren ma ka ga suna mata fiyade an tsare ki ana bukata a kawo kudi bayan an kawo kudin ma an yi lalata da ke an yi duk wani abun ga a je ma a sami ki cutar da bai kamata to excellency ai shi yasa mutane suke ta korafi saboda maganar tsaron nan fa ina ga duk da ka ce kuna iya bakin kokarin ku amma abun kamar yana tafiyar hawainiya saboda a kullun rayukan mutane yana cikin barazana um last year i think mun yi hira a nan and i made it clear duk wa anna abubuwan da ke faruwa akwai wurare da dama da ake samun baraka daga su wa'anda ake tsarewa da kuma su wa'anda ke tsaron mutanen that is it akwai compromise cin amana ta bangaren su wa'anda ke tsaro just of recent to jami'an tsaro kenan jami'an tsaro just of recent gwamnati borno made a very shocking discovery which is quite embarrassing and uh, disappointing uh an kama wasu jami'an tsaro suna asa kudi kan ka wuce ko wani abu naira dubu dubu ga wanda ba shi da ko katin dan kasa ko wani abu maka wancin haka na'am but ni what i am trying to do is ina kokari ga hayin ba office da dai dai zaman ta cewa an gyara albashin jami'an jami'an tsaro an gyara albashin su welfare din su yayi improvement the reason is ya kamata ya zaman ta cewa in an kama ka da laifi irin wannan kazamin laifi irin wannan baka da wata mafaka na cewa ki dai baka da albashin kirki ko baka da welfare din kirki so that is it kuma ka nan i continue to say don wani ma'aikacin tsaro jami'in tsaro wanda ya ci amana kasa ko da dalilin ka ana baka wasu kudi kana ba da information ga yan ta'adda da yan sace mutane da sauran su saboda kudin da ake baka kana gina gidaje kana sayan hilaye kana sayan motoci kana auren mata duma duma kana ajiwa gida to in dai kana cikin wannan abu 
da na kan yi addu'a in ce Allah ya shirye da kai to Allah ya halakar da kai duk inda kake saboda ba mu bukata irin irin ku kai da ake makallan zaka tsara mutum ka kare mutuncin shi da kai ake hada kai ana cin mutuncin shi ana kashe mutane to ai baka da wani amfani to ya excellency lokaci ya karato da aka diban ma shirin ba haka ba da mun yi magana akan wato gidan yarin nan da za a gina a san bisa amma lokaci ya karato mu duka duka abin da za mu ya dauka kenan a shirin namu na cuwa cuwa na wannan mako amma da dan shi wanda muka kasance da shi a cikin shirin wato his excellency mc tagwaye sai kuma ni hawwa umar nake cewa mu kasance lafiya